Over the last few days, a lack of resources forced the death investigation of Pierre Blaise to come to a halt. Blaise. I need to find out how to say that name so I don't just go bleh. Hello YouTube and welcome to Novelty Gaming. My name is Black Hollow and this is Kona Part 4. Before we get into it, if you can see, I'm still stressed from that wolf attack. Uh, and I have a feeling that I know how to fix the problem, but I can't quite remember how to get into my inventory. How do I do it? I thought it was tab. Oh, it's okay. All right, here. Uh, usables. In my opinion, the Carl, cigarettes. like many of his contemporaries, felt like he had more trouble breathing when he wasn't smoking. <laughs> Cigarette was his e own personal breathing assistant. Is my stress going away? Did my stress go down? I don't... I didn't see if my... Okay, so I need, I need two of them. Uh, I need two of them. Usable and back to the cigarettes. Awesome. Perfect. That takes me right up to about where is is acceptable, I would say. I can probably consume another one, but we're not going to do that. Alrighty, guys. Well, hey, welcome back. Uh, we are exactly where we left off last time outside of the general store. I have a theory about the general store, and I hope I'm right. So if you guys remember that necklace and how I was dinking around with this and I thought that maybe like entering the the 793 or 39 or whatever it was would work. Well, it doesn't work. That's for the safe code. And then I started thinking to myself, there's got to be a way to get in here. How much is it for a gallon of gas? Well, on the sign out there, it tells you that it's two. It's 250. Where the fuck is the zero button? Sale. Oh! Oh! Hey! Okay! Alright! Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, what's in here? <gasps> According to that log, it seemed like the whole village owed some money to the general store. Oh, okay. was far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands on, though. That's exactly what I was thinking. Hang on, 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 hang on. And now I think... Now I think, oh wait, no, hang on, I gotta put, I gotta put my coffee down, I'm sorry, guys. It's the first thing in the morning that I'm doing this. Okay, alright, here we go. Yes! Look at that! Everything filled in! I mean, we only got the extra, uh, two houses over there. Um, but it looks like the campfire's filled in as well. And there's one house off to the left, uh, Bla Blaze, Blaos, Blaos, or whatever. Um, and Hamilton up north. Okay, alrighty, so... Um, here's what I think we're gonna do for the day guys. I'm gonna take a spin around the general store I'll give you an, a, a, a quick recap if I found anything if not then we're gonna uh, head north and we're gonna go to Blias and See if he's got anything for us. So let's make our way around the room and see if there's anything else in here Oh, hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, what do we got here? Um, Mr. Lamont here is the spark plug that you ordered for your Ski-Doo Olympique. The model is very popular, so it is very difficult to find a new one quickly. Thank you for choosing Garage Potvin. It feels at something truly that person. Alrighty, yay for French pronunciations. Remember that tree that I was rambling on about? Fucking here it is. It was just designed to get us to go into the, um, it was designed to get us to go into the, uh, uh, the general store, and I actually just realized that this wire is down over here. What happens if I walk across it? Don't do this at home, kids. All right, let's get back on the road again. We'll make our way up to that fine gentleman's house in the north. I do wish I had uh, the ability to take my map out while I was driving, but luckily I can turn my head pretty easily, so let's just take it nice and slow. Should be right up here, maybe? Somewhere around here? Oh, here it is. Okay, I see the mailbox. Here we go, here we go. Oh! Whoa! Okay, alrighty. Yeah, yeah, it's first thing in the morning. I'm still waiting for the coffee to hit me. Okay, here we go. Alrighty. Trying to keep my eye out on what's going on in my peripherals. Got a little bit of lag, so we're probably going to get something decent happening here. Alright, let's stop right there. That seems to be good. Let's park her. Let's go to the main house first. Let's uh, save that auxiliary tool shed for another time. The wintry atmosphere surrounded the house. No shit, the every other one too. The of the area suggested it was empty. Probably. There's one lowly when boot. When a boot, one wonders what became of the foot. Or the other boot, or the other foot that the other boot should be on, or the person that the things are attached to. What the hell is going on here? Okay, I got caught without wood a little while ago, so I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I'm never caught without wood again. Okay, I know I said we'd save the tool shed for later, but like, yeah, I'm here, so yeah. Don't really see anything. Let's check the trash can. 
You see, I just like going around the perimeter. It looks like we got a bottle of something. It's a consumable. Can I actually get in? No, it is locked. The key will be inside this home. Surely it will be. It right, looks like we got a body of water coming up. Something of a stream, maybe. All right, I've walked all around, covered most of the perimeter. I didn't exactly walk the fence line, but that's just because I don't want Carl to start freezing. So now at this point, I'd like to venture inside of this house, uh, see what's going on. We need to locate the key for that shack over there, so hopefully we can find it sooner than later. All righty. Ooh, the lights are on. What the hell? The lights are on. The fucking lights are on, man. Furniture has been moved several times. There's something of a note underneath there that I would really love to get at. There, okay, all right, there we go. Uh, 7th October, Marie, I met my grandparents in Manistan Nord with my mom and Mrs. Roy. My dad is gone with Mr. Roy to warn his cousin Gilles. Mr. Roy said that the wild animals have become too aggressive to the point that it's dangerous. I think this is the monster, but I'm not afraid. You know I'm cool, like... Jean, that person. If you come to see me, you should go back home. Okay, all right. Um, fuck. Well, it would appear that uh, we've got some sort of entity wandering around, and I don't feel quite as bad. Yes! Key! And I... Wait, what? What? Oh, key, I just... Okay. Which seemed to be meant for a padlock. Yeah, it's... Or a... an inscription reading Cloutier and Sons. Hmm. A company name. Better keep an eye open. Businesses weren't exactly numerous around these parts. Money in a jar. What a shame. I know, I was kind of hoping for cookies. cookies. Yes! <laughs> That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, screw money in a jar. I'll take cookies in a jar of money in a jar any day. You got anything else going on? I'm trying to look for, like, clues for the safe as well. I'm sure I can open... Nope. I'm sure I can open up that safe. Anything in the oven? Nothing in the oven? Nothing in the oven. There's a pot glitched into that thing down there. That's kind of interesting. What's that back there? Can't do anything with it. Oh! I can fill up my bottles with water. Okay, that's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, anything? No, I didn't want to open the... There we go. Anything in here? Hello! What do we got Paste here? Up for some undoubtedly harsh lumberjack work. Wow. Alexander Bleff felled trees and chopped woods for Cloutier et Fils. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, got some static, got some static coming from this guy, maybe? Nope. I can't even, can't even see where it's coming from. Part of me wants to smoke a cigarette to get rid of those peripherals, but I want to save them for if I really do need them. Uh, in the dark, it's recommend- Oh, yeah, I'm very sorry, guys. I totally forgot that I have a, uh, I have a flashlight, uh, that will help you guys as much as it will help me. I don't understand where this fucking static is coming from now. Okay, well, static is just a thing that we're probably going to have to deal with. What's if going on here? If the blankets suggested people woke up precipitously, Carl saw evidence of a disorderly escape. So what was it? Probably the monster that was being addressed. Oh, here's the source of the... Okay. Uh, hockey card, Ted Harris. Oh, there. Okay, all right. I didn't... I was like, what the fuck? The, the hockey card? It's a television, not a hockey card. Okay, let's go check in these drawers over here now that we got this taken care of. Ooh, a little drawing. Ah, Well, looks like there's some doggies and maybe a monster in the world. Let me double check that. Le monster? Yep, that's what it says. With some wolves. Okay, so there is a monster wandering around here, then it would appear. Anything else I can look at? I know I can look at his cards. A bunch of hockey cards? Yeah, okay, alright. So a guy likes hockey. He's in Canada. A window left open in that weather? Perhaps something had to be watched. Um, you could just go with opening up the curtains in that situation, I would argue. Okay, what else do there we have up here? Untidiness. Yeah. Objects scattered about randomly. Yeah. Clearly, someone had to flee in a hurry. What could have caused such a fright? See, that's why, guys, you need a bug out bag. Even if it's not the fucking zombies that come for us. If it's something as simple as just some crazy dude with a bomb in your city. Like, you having a bug out bag with a first aid kit and change of clothes, some water, an MRE. I felt the worst for Alexandra. Uh, he hardly get Alexander, he hardly gets any sleep. I thought it was the work, but it seems to be far worse than that. From dusk till dawn, he stares into the void. He barely speaks to me. His son asked me to, uh, ha asked him, uh, his son asked him to play the ball, and he said he, he didn't say a word, and that 
that oh my god i need more fucking coffee man and that way he has and that way he has to glance at the window last night i heard him mumbling asleep he's coming he murmured i don't know why but those words left a deep impression on me he woke up shortly after that covered in sweat he couldn't remember his dream obviously he didn't go back to sleep after that chain smoking the night away over the window he told me to pack my things up this morning i wonder why does he himself know we're waiting but for what i i think i feel dread okay i need to drink more fucking coffee give me just a second much better all right what do we got in the armoire anything anything nothing okay we don't have anything okay let's go back downstairs guys i think that's pretty what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck what the fuck man what the fuck there's a wolf in here there's a wolf in here there's a wolf um okay i don't want to kill it I don't want to kill it. Don't, don't, don't attack me. Hey. Rah! Wolf, go, go, rah, rah! That's right, that's right, bitch. Yeah, that's right. Did you see how it tucked its tail down? That means friendly submission. That means I'm not going to hurt you, and you spooked me, or you're the boss of me, and please don't hurt me. Okay, um... Oh, I need a I need more wood for the fire. Okay. Um I think at this point, guys, we've pretty much looked at almost everything that there is... Um, obviously the wolf got into the fridge, which I didn't do. Did I go in here yet? I no, I did not go in here. Okay, let's go in here. Oh, got something down there. Perfect. Over the last few days, a lack of resources forced the death investigation of Pierre Blais to come to a halt. Blais. I need to find out how to say that name so I don't just go... <laughs> The autopsy of the body conducted over the last few weeks didn't reveal any clue that could have helped the investigators who refused to comment on what would happen next. The new development is still happening in the context of the hypothesis of an accident which is still, in spite of skepticism expressed by the local population, the ongoing official cause of death provided by the authorities. The incident is said to have occurred in the forest surrounding Lake Atamapec. Atamapec. Atomic peck. Atom. It's something like that. It's got the, it's got the pronunciation. Uh, Pierre was found lifeless two weeks ago near a footpath leading to the soon-to-be-restarted copper mine. That may be a good spot to go check. Uh, Blias, an engineer by training who was working on behalf of the consortium headed by William Hamilton, was reportedly in charge of the development plans surrounding the reopening of the mine. Okay, all right, so at first, police had disclosed that the body had been desecrated today. The official version is that it was part, partly devoured by beasts, hence the original assumption that a crime had been committed. Now, people may be, like, blaming that on the wolves or something like that, but to me, that's definitely the monster that did that. This is just establishing the shit that's going on, and I'm obviously going in the right direction because of all the things that are taking place okay all right i think we have cleared out this house let's go to the uh, storage shed and see what's going on in there i don't know about you guys but i'm actually pretty nervous at this point and i am gonna go ahead and consume uh another um another cigarette or two because my stress after that wolf encounter went back up there we go back up to 100 percent. now i don't have to deal with those peripherals i don't think anymore or do i what do the peripherals mean Oh, it's my health. Okay, we'll go back to the usables. Um, I think right now I'm just going to use a painkiller. Because it pretty much takes me all the way back up. Okay, now we don't have to deal with those peripheral things. Come on, I found the... Oh, it goes to a padlock. It was so cold. Oh, Already shit. Already Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Yep, okay, yeah, we're going back into the truck. Okay, guys, so it unlocks a padlock. I think what I'd like to do is go back down to the wooden shacks and see if maybe... Uh, there was a padlock on that door over there. I can't remember if it was just locked or if it was a padlock. So let's go investigate it. I know I've commented on this bunch, but I fucking love the driving in this game. Okay, so it's somewhere around here. Here it is. There we go. There we go. Okay, all right, let's go investigate. Okay, so this first one was unlocked. I remember that. If memory serves, it was the one to the left at this fork up here that was locked up. Okay, here we are at the fork. Take our left. Okay, yeah, here we are. I'm pretty sure that this is the one that was locked up. Let's check this out. Is there a padlock on it? Is there a padlock? Oh my god, I opened it up. Okay, all right. Let's uh, let's let's take our flashlight out. This is Welcome working out pretty well. Welcome to Alibaba's Cave, Lumberjack Edition. Surely Carl would find something worth his time in here. 
there are actually plenty of things that are worth my time in here, considering the fact that I have full weight and uh, and there's probably going to be a bunch of clues and stuff like that, too. I'm going to try to pick up everything that I can, and then I'm going to need to uh, go back through and get rid of some stuff in my inventory, because I am at full weight capacity right now. There! Okay, more photos, man. That's what I was hoping for. Okay, I got some more fuel. Uh, that stuff I can't get. It's interesting how I can only, like, weight only applies to certain things. So I want to look at that, uh, uh... Okay, cool. I want to look at that chainsaw last. I have a feeling the chainsaw is going to be a very important thing for me. Okay, I got that second road flare over there. For some reason, it wasn't showing up when I was first lurking at it. Okay, let's take the key. Let's look at the letter. Uh, what do we got here? To Paul and Jean-Pierre, don't forget to return the key for the cabin if you have to use it. Thank you, your supervisor. P.S. The next bus for Chibongamau will be on October 12th. The next one is two weeks later. Alrighty. Okay, so we have the key for the cabin. It would be too cumbersome to carry around. Throw it in the back of your fucking pickup truck. You either get a truck for two reasons. To compensate or to haul shit. Let's make sure that you're hauling shit there, Carl. Okay, the last thing that I'd like to go out and check is the, uh, uh, is the cabin that we were just at. Because now we have that key. And I think that possibly that may be the cabin they're referring to. Now, we do know that Hamilton is all the way up north on this road. But before we make that giant long drive, I just want to test out the things that are down here first. Alright, here we are again. Uh, one thing that I didn't look for is wolf track. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go test out this key on the cabin. Uh, depending on what we find in there, I'm going to look around for wolf tracks and actually walk the fence line. Okay, moment of truth. Ah, shit. Okay, let me walk the fence line. Alright, gang, I walked the perimeter all the way around, stumbled around inside of the property for a little while. There's nothing left to find here that I can see. So the last thing that I'd like to do is head north. Find out if there's anything along the way, any driveways that aren't marked up from the general store findings. And then after that point, I think we're going to have to end the episode. Uh, because it's going to take me a while to figure out what to do next. If there is even anything to do, considering the fact that this is an early access game uh, that is not finished yet. As you remember in the last episode, we had that giant yellow barrier to deal with. Hopefully I don't run into one on the way out there right now. But... I mean, hey, for what it's worth, the game has given me a lot of content to enjoy. Um, and I... Oh, 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 oh. What's this sign say? What's this sign say? What's this sign say? The fucking mirror is... Oh, okay, all right. It's just telling me it's slick and to watch out for oncoming traffic, even though there probably isn't any oncoming traffic. Oh! Oh! Landslide. Okay, alright. Here, let's check this out. This will be, uh, whatever happens here, this will be the end of the episode. Oh, man. Ooh, ooh, I don't want to, I don't want to get too close to that. The track was fresh. Yeah? That meant the car sunk down just a little while ago. Now, yeah. where the hell could the passengers possibly have gone? Uh, I don't see any footprints. Let's take a look at the car first and foremost. What do we got going on inside the car? We got the other boot. We got the other boot. Okay, all right, let's get those photos picked up. Uh, let's see here. Anything else? I don't want to get too close to that damn thing because with my luck, it actually does have... They went that way. Okay, I know. I see the tracks. I see the tracks. Uh, with my luck, that thing is actually going to shock me. Uh, so let's let's push our way over here and see what these items are. It looks like... Uh... It turned into nothingness. Carl hated dead ends. Made him feel trapped. It seemed like the lake managed to completely swallow the road. This is crazy, man. Yeah, it like it totally, totally ate it up. So that's the trailer right there. I don't think I'm allowed to walk down there. So I think, friends, this is going to be where we end this episode. Yeah, I kind of want to leave it on a cliffhanger. I don't want them to be too long because I know this is a slower paced game. Oh my god! I can fucking... Yeah. Okay. All right. Here. Um. I am. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm going to be doing some serious work. Uh. And another thing that I also would like to do is I'm going to cycle back down. Uh. To all of our known locations, including the original rest stop. Make sure I haven't forgotten anything. And at the start of the next episode, I will give you guys a recap from this position right here. Uh, hopefully, I will have the chainsaw in the back of the car. I mean, that would be fucking awesome if I could go back lessen my weight, pick up the supplies I missed, and actually be able to hold that chainsaw. 
Um, so yeah, I will let you guys know how it pans out, and I will see you in the next episode. So friends, if you enjoy what you see, and only if, leave a little love in the comment section, or leave a like and subscribe. Oh shit, subscribe so you don't miss the rest of, oh my god, Kona or whatever comes next. Oh man, and as usual, enjoy the rest of your day. And I will see you guys again.